Jacksepticeye, and in this vlog, I wanted to talk about a few things. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is that I have glasses now. I had to go get stuff recently. I, I went in for a test last year, in like October, and they said, uh, you might need kind of glasses, but I mean, if you had to go do a driving test, you'd pass that no problem. But I, I went back uh, last week and they said, yeah, you probably need glasses. And it was a long time coming because all of my family basically wear glasses. So I had to go off and get my own and here they are. I have glasses now. <laughs> so I don't need them all the time. I just need them for stuff in the distance because, because I do YouTube so much and I'm sitting at my computer all the time and just sitting there with a screen right up against my face for so long that my eyesight kind of got a bit worse over the years. Um, which I was fully expecting. I probably should have taken more breaks. Um, if you do work with computers all the time, you should probably look away from your computer every now and then, just to get your eyes relaxed and appreciate your eyesight for what it is. But, I, I got them because I was worried when I was going to South by Southwest, because I have to do the award show next month. And I was worried that if they had like an auto card or a cue card or a teleprompter or anything like that that I had to read out in the distance, that I wasn't going to be able to see it. That if they had awards and nominations and winners and those types of things, that I was going to be sitting there going, and the winner is... Blurgy Fleur! Woo! Love that game! <laughs> now I can see stuff in the distance really clearly. It's amazing to see. Because you always hear people say that when they got the glasses that their vision was so much better. And I was like, okay, I'm sure it's fine. But when I actually put them on, I was like, holy crap! Whoa! It's like going from standard definition to high definition. You see slates on the roof a lot better off in the distance. You can actually see the lines of it. You can see all the little tiny details. Trees in the distance now have leaves. They're not just a green mass of blobby greenness. Which, but they were beautiful already, but now it's like, whoa! Nature! Why are you so damn beautiful? So I'm gonna leave them on for the rest of the video so you get used to seeing them on my face and every time I put them on, you're not like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> So, I don't need to re wear them all the time. You're not going to see me wear them in videos because the screen is right in front of me. I don't need it for that. I just need it for stuff really far away. Like, hey, Steve! Yeah, because- Oh, no, that's Jerry. See? I was able to see that it wasn't Steve now because I can actually see in the distance. Before, I would have been like, Steve, how's the wife? And he would have been like, I don't know who Steve is. Uh <laughs> the next thing I wanted to talk about was YouTube stuff because there was a lot of stuff coming up in the comments recently. And I used to do this before where I talk about issues that were coming up. Uh, stuff that was bothering me, stuff that was bothering you guys, anything at all that was recurring that I could talk about. And this time, it's it comes back to the same stuff as always, that there's change going on. And, I mean, I get it. I get where these people come from because I watch YouTubers all the time. I Not, not only am I a YouTuber, but I watch other YouTubers all the time. And when you see stuff changing with them, it can get a little bit worrisome for the people who watch, like, consistently. And these are not people who just hate the channel, who want to hate on me, they're not like negative people at all. Um, they don't come in and tell me I suck and then leave again. So, like that stuff doesn't bother me, I can handle that stuff, that stuff's fine. That usually says more about them than it does about me. So these ones are normal- oh god, I almost broke my watch. These are the people who um, have likely watched the channel for a while. They subscribed a while ago, or they subscribed for a specific reason, and then stuff changes here and there that they're not really comfortable with, or they don't know what's going on, and then it usually gets to a head and then they're like, no, you changed too much. I don't like you anymore. You used to make me laugh and now you're not funny anymore. Or that I don't like the types of games that you're playing. And again, I get it. So I'm just going to say it straight out that, yeah, the channel likely has changed a small bit. I, I don't think it's changed too much where it's like a huge, massive, drastic change and I'm a completely different person or anything. It's just a case of adapting with the times, adapting with YouTube, growing, getting, getting more comfortable with recording. Like, I sit down and I used to record videos and I would I would try so hard, I would try so damn hard to make jokes all the time. So damn hard to please everybody all the time. With every game that I was playing, and, like, I don't need to do that anymore. I feel like people like me for me now, and they come, and for the games and for me, for different things each time. So I don't have to try so hard, and that, like, that sort of confidence that I've gotten has likely made me try less to make jokes and I just settled into the games a lot more and for some people that's a bit too much that they they want the jokes they want me to try that hard and maybe I will maybe I won't I don't know it depends on the game some games you can't just get in and try and make jokes all the time because it doesn't fit the mood of the game um so if that's the kind of change that you're noticing I'm sorry that's just a natural change that every youtuber goes through you you either have to adapt with that change or then you're you'll get left behind or you likely won't like the channel anymore and that's a, that's another point that I wanted to get to a lot of people say that YouTubers change all the time and that's true we do we have to that's just that's just the way YouTube is change does not have to be bad 
I feel like I've changed a lot for the better over the years. Um, but another thing that people don't realize is that viewers change. You guys change all the time too. You watch a certain YouTuber for a certain game, then that sort of changes. You don't really like the game anymore. You don't like the style the YouTuber does. Because I have a very specific style. I get in, I'm very bombastic, I'm very energetic, I'm very loud. Some games change it because I have to. You could get bored of that style that I do. And then the two of us drift apart. We go in very different directions. Um, what a lot of people end up doing is that they end up blaming the YouTuber for it instead of reflecting upon themselves that they might have changed as well. This is not the case for everybody, I don't want to make a blanket statement. But a lot of the cases it's like, you grow up, I grow up, we develop different tastes, different styles of humor, and then we adapt different ways. And you might end up not liking that and then you're like, you know what Jack, you're not funny anymore. I don't really like you anymore. And that's fine. Yeah, that's a perfectly normal human thing to happen. A lot of people take it very badly and they're like, you suck now. I used to like your videos, but you changed way too much. You're, you're not funny anymore. Which is a bit unfair, I feel, on my part. Um, it, it could have been a reason that you just didn't like it anymore. If I have changed, like, a lot and it is something very bad, then I would like some feedback on it. I would like some suggestions. I don't... Ne just out negativity is not helpful. When people say, you suck, you used to be different, you change now. Like, that's not helpful. That's not... That's just complaining. It's just whining. It's just negativity. It's not actually constructive criticism. It's not feedback. I can't work off that. Examples! I need I need something to go off. I can't just go off nothing. So, please keep that in mind. Um, this is only a small group of people who say these types of things, by the way. Um, it's not like, the channel is still fantastic, the channel is still great, you guys are awesome. And the, the majority of people still like everything I do, which is great, and it's very motivating, it keeps me going. But it was just, there was a, there was like a couple of days period where I've seen more of those comments than normal, and it, it got to me a small bit. I try not to let those things get to me, but when it's, when it's a few people, it kind of hits me hard, because it shakes your confidence a small bit. You sit down, you record stuff, you're like, have I changed? A am I different? Do I, am I not funny anymore? And it, it shakes your confidence in your recordings and it kind of got me down a small bit and other stuff on top of that But that, that's not relevant when I sat down to record and I was like, maybe maybe I have changed And then that gets inside your head and when you record you're like damn that joke wasn't funny enough Shit, I didn't do that properly that the people aren't gonna like that and then it compounds and the people who don't think you've changed Start to see some difference in you um, So I, I kind of have to keep that confidence in myself going that I'm still doing something right, but I do, I do rely on your feedback a lot of the time because I don't want to write off the comments like that. I don't want to just say, people are being mean to me now, I'm gone. Something else that I, I wanted to get to as well was the, the this is nothing against um, a lot of you guys, but it's the, the incessant spam, scams and like fake accounts, advertising, those types of things that have been coming up in the comments a lot lately. Just seems to be rampant all over YouTube. There's one thing with the spams and scams and the fake accounts. That, that That's a whole different issue. That's something that's out of my control. That's something YouTube have to look into and fix because that shit is annoying as all hell. I've I've banned these people, I've blocked them, I've reported them. YouTube do nothing about them. That or they're just able to comment again anyway. Uh, what I'm talking about by the way is the, the fake Jacksepticeye accounts that post links in the comments. I never post links in the comments. So if you see those things, do not click them. Just report them and move on. Don't even reply to them. Don't interact with them. Do nothing to them. Just report and move. Because when you interact with them, then they, they boost further up in the comments and they get more credence and then more people see it and get fooled by it. So just report them and when you report them, they'll likely be taken care of. There's a new type of advertising people are doing. I'm not talking about the ones who are like, please sub to my channel. That's old school now. That's, that's not hip with the kids anymore, apparently. The stuff people are doing now is like, wow, Jack, that is a great video. Thumbs up if you really like Jacksepticeye. Those ways of like trying to get extra likes so their channel gets boosted up higher in the comments and then people are like Oh, those are a nice person, maybe I'll click on their name and then you find out they're a YouTuber and then you subscribe to them or whatever. That's like very thinly veiled advertising. On the surface it looks really nice but when you see when you see the patterns, when you go into the comments enough and you see the same people posting the same stuff all the time and they're YouTubers themselves, it kind of... It looks bad. And uh, maybe they do, maybe they do mean nice, maybe they do mean well. But after a while it kind of gets a bit frustrating, you kind of know what they're doing. It's like, I know what you're doing. You want people to click your name because you're up in the comments a lot. Then there's the other ones who are just like, that's a great video, Jack. By the way, I make Let's Plays. And those are obvious, but another new one is one like equals uh, your crush will love you. One sub equals uh, seven years good luck. Uh, ignore equals bad luck forever. Those kind of things, uh, I hate that. That is really annoying. That's another um, thinly veiled type of advertising. Any sort of begging for likes, 
subs, anything like that. I've had to mute a whole bunch of people in the comments in the last week because of that stuff. I, I don't like doing that. I don't like having to mute people. Um, I don't block them because YouTube has a hide users comments sort of feature. So I've had to do that a lot. And I don't want to do that. I want the comments to be a really nice place. I don't want to come down and see just advertising and scams and spam everywhere. And I'm not just saying all the comments have to be really nice. I'm just saying the comments have to be actual comments pertaining to the video, to the channel. Just normal comments. So I, a lot of that stuff has been getting a bit out of control. So I need help to deal with all these types of things. I can't do it on my own because otherwise the comments are just going to... They're going to slip out of my grasp. And I'm trying so hard not to let that happen. I've been trying for years. I've been in the comments every single day. I still am. I answer hundreds of comments a day um, and I spend so so much time policing them and moderating them and being able to go in and removing a lot of comments because I want the comments to be a really nice place. I, that's what I started off doing YouTube. I started off really wanting the comments to be a great place for people to come, interact with each other, make friends with each other, talk to me, I can talk back, that type of thing. To make the community a really nice place for us all to be. And it has been for a really long time but every now and then shit gets out of control that I have to make a vlog and talk about it, so... Again, the majority of stuff is fine. The majority of stuff is great and we're all having a fantastic time. But there was just a few issues that I felt like needed to be addressed. But I'm gonna end the vlog here before I get too rambly. It's already beyond that. I try to explain myself too much so I'm not misunderstood. Because when you don't explain stuff well enough, people see you in a bad way. They're, they're like, he's a dick now. Like, he's so short, he doesn't explain himself well. Those types of things, and it, and it sucks because... More people start seeing change where there is none. Um, like I took down the blue curtain and then a lot of people had been saying he's changing too much. I put on glasses and took a picture on Twitter. Somebody's like, he changed now. He's not the same as he used to be. Because people imprint a version that they, of you that they know. When they subscribe to you from like a while ago, they they there's a certain atmosphere and vibe about the channel when you subscribe. And when it veers off that, when you start when those series end that's been on the channel when you subscribe or... The type of game that you like changes a small bit, or I just stop playing it, or my commentary for it changes a small bit. Then people freak out and they're like, no, I don't like you anymore. And then other people who notice these types of things start latching on to that, and everyone just dogpiles on you. But I, I wanted to talk about them before they got out of control, because when they get out of control, then there's no going back. There's nothing I can do, nothing I can say that'll be able to fix it, because right now, when I say stuff, people believe me. People believe what I'm saying. People think I'm honest and genuine. I hope so anyway. Some people are starting to think maybe I'm not. That it's all an act or I'm fake or something. I don't know why. But if you let stuff get out of control then when you try and fix it, then people don't believe you anymore. It's like, ah, he's just saying that because it's out of control. But to just see how quick a community can turn on you. Whether for the right reasons or the wrong reasons. Just like, as soon as a mistake happens, people love to join a mob and turn against you. And I don't- I really don't want that to happen here. Not for my sake, but for everyone's sake. I want to keep the community a nice place where we can all still interact with each other and move forward and do great things on YouTube. And I don't want it to get out of control. But anyway, that that's a whole uh, mess of things that I could talk about all day for, so I'm going to leave this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face like a boss! And high fives all round. Thank you guys, now we'll see all you dudes. I like the guitar in the background. What guitar? Aw, oh, Jack is a fangirl just like us. That's so cute. I told you guys, I'm still a huge fan of a lot of things. Just because I do YouTube doesn't mean I can't fan- Hey there. I'm super close up to the camera right now. I don't know why my voice is kind of gone when I try and speak low. Is this in focus? Hopefully I can see it over here. Hey, it's a new camera. Do you like it?